I land hit render, you can see that we have kind of this little spooky alleyway that's been set up for us. Now what I'd like to do is take some of the illumination from this sewage drain here and kind of give this whole scene just a little bit more atmosphere, a little bit more mood. So what I want to try to do is kind of introduce some volumetric light rays that are coming up kind of through this little sewer area. So within Maya, we can do this through a process called light fog. Now light fog is something that can be applied to something like a Maya spotlight. Now it is important to note that this volumetric effect is applied on the light itself. And really the Maya spotlight is the only light type that will support this. No other lights can have this volumetric lighting effect that we're about to see. So uh, if we take a look, you can see I already do have a spotlight that's sort of positioned underneath this grate. So let's go into the attributes for this spotlight. It's going to be, again, Control A on your keyboard to open up the attributes. Let's go ahead and scroll down. We're going to expand this light effects area. And you can see we have light fog. So let's go ahead and click on this little checker button right over here. That will go ahead and plug in a new light fog node for us. And if you look closely, you can actually see these little blue uh, streaks that are sort of shooting out from our light source. These uh, little blue lines indicate the light fog itself. So now, if I were to come in here and just re-render this, you can now start to see that we do have uh, kind of some fog type effects, but it's really not very natural. Uh, it's really not coming up through these uh, grates like what we might expect. It's uh, really very not realistic. Uh, so what we can do to fix this is let's go into the light itself. And if we want to make sure that the light itself is only coming through these little holes, we can come in and actually start to create some shadows for the light itself. So let's come into the light again, back to the attributes. Let's expand the shadows area and let's plug in depth map shadows. Whenever it comes to using volumetric lighting like this or these light fog effects, it's really best to use depth map shadows. The ray trace shadows really don't work as well. So depth map shadows turned on. We can save this image for comparison if we like. And now we can start to see these uh, nice little light rays that are kind of just coming through these bars and these open areas of the grate. Much, much more realistic compared to what we had before. Now, if we get into the depth map shadow attributes, if you recall, we had mentioned in one of our earlier lessons the fog shadow intensity and the fog shadow samples. These really come into play whenever working with the light fog or any kind of the volumetric effects like this. So with the fog shadow intensity, if we were to come in and start to maybe increase this a little bit, let's dial that up to something like four. Let's save this image for comparison. You can see that in my case, this has actually darkened this up almost to the point where it's completely disappeared. So with the fog shadow intensity, it really does just like the name suggests. It will come in and start to take these volumetric effects and uh, especially the fog and start to make that uh, much more uh, dark and much more subtle. So if we want to, again, that can be just a nice way of maybe getting something a little bit more subtle if we don't necessarily like the uh, direction that this is going, if we find that maybe that's a little bit too strong. Now we can also start to come in and begin working on the fog shadow samples. Now what this should help is to uh, kind of eliminate some of this noise and artifacting that we can see within the actual volume itself. So if we were to come in and start to increase the shadow samples, let's start with something like 30. And again, let's re-render. And you can see now compared to what we had before, that while we do still have a little bit of noise in here, it's actually quite a bit more subtle than what we had previously. So depending on the amount of detail that you're trying to capture and just uh, how you want this fog to look, you may need to come in and start to increase the fog shadow samples a little bit higher or maybe even a little bit lower until you find something that is going to be appropriate for you. So we should also be able to come in and begin controlling uh, things like the actual color of this sort of a volumetric effect here. So let's say maybe we wanted this to be a little bit more uh, maybe kind of green if we wanted this to be maybe a little bit better matched up with some of the atmospherics that we have here. It's just simply a matter of changing the spotlight's color to green and the volumetric effect should follow right along. And once that renders out, you can see that's exactly what we get. And if we wanted to, we can also control the overall strength or the density of this uh, fog in a couple of different ways. Number one, this fog is still linked directly to the intensity of our light. So if we take our spotlight 
and drop its intensity way down, maybe something like 0.2, if we were to come in, save that image for comparison, and then uh, just re-render, you can see that our fog is now uh, much more subtle compared to what we had before. Now, likewise, we could come in and start to boost this up even a little bit higher by just simply taking our light's intensity and bringing that up maybe a little bit higher than 1. And you can see now how that's going to uh, now make this light even more intense than what we had before. So really lots and lots of control that we have over this. Now, one thing that I do want to point out, and this is really important uh, before we wrap up this lesson, is the fact that really this light fog uh, is really only meant to be used within the Maya software render. If we were to try to use this in something like Mental Ray, uh, what we'll see is that it really kind of only works halfway. We do start to get some basic light fog in here, but for the most part, uh, this volumetric or this light fog effect really is not meant to be used within Mental Ray. If you do want to get these same type of volumetric effects within Mental Ray, this 